Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get right into your reading Aquarius. Let's see uh, what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2020. All right, your first card here is the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, wow, two knights, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Sun card, the King of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Lovers card, the Six of Cups, and the Death card. Wow, okay. So you guys have... quite some cards here okay all right Aquarius so your current situation you may be feeling a bit restrictive um, a bit like things are not progressing the way you would want them or as quickly as you would want them to progress now the obstacle here is the knight of cups so the Knight of Cups could signify um, being extremely emotional. For some of you guys, uh, you could be very emotionally connected to wanting to achieve something or wanting to find some type of stability. And the lack of progress or the lack of you seeing progress is becoming or getting the best of you. Now in the past and passing, we do have the Nine of Swords. So I feel for some of you guys, you guys could have like being like worrisome type of energy. It could be because of your finances. It could be because there is some type of some like a, what they're telling me is there's a feeling of not knowing where your money is going. So for some of you guys, it could be like having a lot of expenses or not knowing how to deal with expenses. Um, now, your crowning energy is the sun. So there is an idea that's coming to you or will come to you for the month of March. I see you guys realigning or moving things around that make better sense to you. Um, so again, if we're talking about business and finances, for some of you guys, it could be just doing like expenses that you shouldn't really be doing. Or it could signify like overspending. But the reason why there's overspending is because you're not learning or you're not knowing how to balance your your wins versus what you're spending uh so this is directly talking about if you like for those of you guys that run your own business now for those of you guys that work or work for other companies i feel that there is like a restriction like perhaps for some of you guys it's a raise that you're waiting for and it just hasn't came through um and keep in mind, we are still in retrogrades, retrograde, so there is a, a bit of resistance there that is already happening. Um, so what they're saying here, Aquarius, is don't worry yourself too much. Um, let go of the changes that are currently happening or the current situation. The more you resist it, the more you put energy towards it, so it becomes more difficult to deal with. And what they're saying is sometimes... Uh, overthinking creates more issues than there really is any. Um, the best advice I can tell you is here, this is your, your, you're coming up in your own reading and what they're saying is really be methodical when it comes to your finances. Um, so I would highly encourage for you guys to either do, uh, go through your, you know, your spending. There, there is something like, People are not being wise about your money. So there's two scenarios I'm getting. For some of you guys, if you have other people dealing with like buying product, buying um, whatever it is that you're using for your business, uh, but you yourself are not dealing with that, I would check uh, what they're spending on. And it's not that they're doing it on purpose. I just feel that they're being uh, not as particular because it's not their money. Uh, so again, what they're saying is like go back to the books go back to really seeing what how much you're spending versus what you're making and try to find the balance try to cut out some things that are unnecessary or unnecessary expenses um i think that going back and really trying to figure those gaps you're going to be able to bring in um or close in on what you are overlooking at the moment and it's going to help you 
not only bring more balance, but also being able to even understand that you're making more than you actually are aware of. Now, for those of you guys that uh, work for companies, uh, if there is some type of increase that you're expecting, you will be hearing about it in April. Uh, they're showing me here April, uh, but they're also speaking about um, things falling into place or wherever you felt like there's been some type of res resistance, like you haven't been able to progress or see the progress, even uh, for those of you guys that run your own business, it, it almost feels like you're losing instead of making money. I think April is going to be very prominent for you guys when it comes to your finances. It could be either an increase or it could be that you start to get more clientele or you find a way uh, to, like I said, to really figure out what works for you and what doesn't. And, and they're showing me numbers. So I feel that for some of you guys, it's just going back and really looking at your numbers is what they're saying. Now, the energy is currently influencing you is the lover's card. So this is speaking to me about being at crossroads or feeling like you're at crossroads. For some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with your kids, you know, turning 18 or they're getting ready to go to college. And that's something that is going to be very prominent for you in the month of March. Um, or just coming to the understanding that your kids are no longer kids, they're teenagers, that type of energy. I do feel that it's going to be very important for you for the month of March to make your children a priority. Uh, so if you if you feel like you've been putting a lot of work, a lot of effort into business, into finances, um, and you start to see like your kids being a bit more like acting out, what Spirit is saying here is that they're just trying to uh, reenact a way of getting more attention from you. So I think that giving them more time is something that is going to be very prominent or needed for the month of March. Now you also do have the death card here. So I do want to say, if you're currently at the moment struggling with finances or like barely even tr being able to keep up, uh, there is not only uh, not only money coming towards you. So for some of you guys, obviously we are around the, the tax season type of thing, but I feel that you're coming into a higher position or you're coming into uh, an increase in your finances because you do have the sun card, you have the four of wands and you have the death card. So in the beginning, there's lack, but at the end of the month of March, there's a major transition that happens uh, that really pushes you or really creates that momentum of abundance that starts to come in for you guys. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading uh, and we'll see each other soon.